Boone County. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny to wake up. You know, when I started this campaign, I could have cruised right through there, but I've gained so much weight. <laughs> You do, you know what it's like. It's terrible. <laughs> well, hello, Giles County. How are you doing tonight? Good. Are you ready to take back Virginia? Yes. yes. You know, uh, Inauguration Day, what a great day that was, January 20th. Uh, I was on top of one of the uh, media buildings uh, with uh, CNN and MSNBC. I was the token conservative, the token Trump guy, and they were asking all these questions. And also on top of that building was a really bad guy, and I think you know him, and you can boo when you hear his name, Don Lemon. Don Lemon, really horrible, even for CNN standards, really bad. So we are on the, on the top of the building, and as President Trump and his family is coming down Pennsylvania Avenue, and he's coming down, the crowds are cheering, and then there's some boos in the audience, some boos in the audience, and Don Lemon says, oh look, they're booing Donald Trump. And Andrew Cuomo, who was sitting and standing right there, said, uh, No, Don, they just introduced Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. And I was going to be on a show the other day because I thought he was going to challenge me on this. Because everywhere we go, we do Facebook Live and a show call. And we went back and we checked the transcript just to make sure I didn't hear that wrong. And it was absolutely true. But. I'm down here for another four year, four year, holy smokes, <laughs> four years, four days. Uh, we're uh, coming down here and, uh, today, we're staying through Monday. Uh, this is not, I've been down here so many times, first uh, last year on behalf of President Trump, and now running my own campaign for, for governor. Uh, and uh, on Monday, we're going to Hurley, and we are going to have a community assembly in Hurley, is that right? And we're going to have a lot of people there, so join us if you can. The reason we're going there is this. I cannot stand political correctness. And the, what I love about Hurley, I love Hurley High School, because their mascot is the rebel. And, they're, and they fly the Confederate flag, and I'm very, very proud to stand there with it. So a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I went down to Charlottesville because the city of Charlottesville, I don't know how many of you heard about this, voted to remove the statue of a great Virginian, a great American hero, Robert E. Lee. So we went there and we were mobbed instantaneously by dozens of Black Lives Matter and other liberal lefty groups, horrible, horrible. And since then, they've been following me all around the state. They've been with the Roanoke and Richmond, really, really awful. But at some point, and I turned to them in Richmond, and there's so many of them there, and they brought all the media, and I said, I just want to thank you all for bringing all the media here. I never would have had this much media attention if you lunatics hadn't brought them here. So we've been having a great time going around the state. And let me tell you something, folks. This issue of heritage is everything. It's everything. When you think of Virginia and when you travel around this country, you travel around the world, and people ask you where you're from, you say, I am from Virginia. And you take pride in it. And what is it about Virginia that makes us Virginia? It's our heritage. It's our history. It's Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and James Madison, but it's also Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. And we need to embrace it. And we need to be proud of it. Because if you think that they're going to stop with a statue of Robert E. Lee, you're wrong. Because the city of Charlottesville has already made it clear that when they're done removing the statue of Robert E. Lee, they're going to take down the statues of Thomas Jefferson. And if you think it stops in Charlottesville, it won't. It'll go to every other liberal locality in this state. And we've got a few of them. So that's why we've got to stand up, and I've made this a pivotal point in my campaign. I'm not afraid of controversy. In 2007, I led what is considered the nation's toughest crackdown on illegal immigration. I did it in Prince William County. I'm elected countywide in Prince William County. My district is twice the size 
of a state senate district. I represent 454,000 residents. They direct, directly elect me as chairman of the board. I've done that four times. And in the first year that it was up for re-election, I led that crackdown and a lot of establishment Republicans, a lot of Democrats, a lot of business people said you better don't do it, you're never gonna get re-elected. But we stuck, to, we stuck to it. And so far we have handed over to the federal government more than 7,500 criminal illegal aliens and our violent crime rate dropped by 48.7% in three years. And that is what we have to do in Virginia. Last week in Bedford, in Bedford, an illegal alien gang named MS-13 took a Lynchburg boy, an 11th grader. They mutilated him. They abducted him. They cut off his hands and they cut off his feet. And then they sliced his throat. Now folks, I hate to be so gruesome, but we have to confront this issue. We cannot let political correctness silence what we must do in Virginia. Because the number one job of every elected official, whether they're federal, state, or local, is to protect the lives, the safety, and the rights of every one of you and your families. And I want to let you know, it's not, these are not the only issues in the campaign, but if you nominate me for governor, you're going to find a fire. I am not afraid of the press. I am not afraid of the left wing. I've taken them on in the past. I've put big tax cuts, big spending reductions in my county into place, and this is in Northern Virginia, and I've won four times. In fact, I'm the only Republican who has been able to win Prince William County in Northern Virginia since 2009. The last person to do it besides me was Bob McDonald. So if you're looking for a fighter, and you're looking for a hard worker, and you're looking for a winner, I ask for your vote. We took back, to, we took back the White House in 2016, and in 2017, we are going to take back Virginia. Thanks a lot, everybody.